Okay, so in this video we're going to demonstrate how to dynamically map multiple data sets into Chart.js. We're going to create kind of like a little project out of this. And what you're seeing over here is the final product, where we're going to populate in COVID data, where we have the number of positive cases observed over these days by these states. Now, where we're actually getting this data from is the COVID API. So when doing all of this, we're going to start from scratch, meaning like we're going to go to the getting started page, we're going to spin up an example graph, and then we're going to build it out from there. Now all of the code that we're going to use during this, I'm going to throw up in a repo, and you'll find the link for that repo, as well as the COVID API, down in the description. Okay, so to start with, we're going to create a folder here on the desktop, and this folder is going to serve as the web services directory. Next, we're going to set that as our current working directory inside of Visual Studio Code. So with Visual Studio Code, once it recognizes that we have an HTML file, we'll be able to grab an HTML template. So let's create a new file by doing a Control N and then Control S, and then this is going to be our index file. Now to grab a template, we simply just do a bang and then tab, and then here's our template. So now going over to the getting started page, we can see right here. So let me kind of position this a bit. So let me do a Windows key and then right, and then I'll put this guy over here on the left. All right, so with the getting started, we can see the first thing we want to do is add our canvas element. So I'm going to throw that right down here in the body. Next thing we're going to include is the chart.js library. We can do that with the script element under here. Underneath here we can actually see what we should expect to get once we have all of this in. So here's an example of the of the graph. Alright, so now coming down here into the setup tab. So this is where we're getting into our JavaScript and what we're going to use down here as our development file is going to be called app.js. So I'm going to include that right from here. So let me do a script, and let me just kind of close this out here a bit for a second. So script, and the source, it's app.js, and then let me close this guy out, which is the other one. There we go. All right, and now I'm going to save this. So control S, and now we're not going to need to create that file. So control N, control S again, and that's app, and then this is a JavaScript file. Okay, so now coming over here, we can see on the config tab, we actually need to do the setup tab first, as highlighted down here. So over here, we're actually defining the data variable, which we're seeing is included in this config over here. So I'm just going to paste this guy in over here, and then we'll include what's on the config tab. All right, and next down the bottom, we'll include our, essentially our selector, right? So now we're going to paste this. All right, and then I'll save this. So control S. All right, so now what we're gonna use here for a server is an extension inside of Visual Studio Code called Live Server. So if we want, we do a search for it and you would install it from here. So once you have Live Server installed, we can simply just open with Live Server. All right, and we can see the graph gets rendered over here. So now just to verify that what we're doing with Live Server is not only for a server, but also whenever we save within our scripts over here, it's actually going to auto refresh the web page so we can see it applied. So now to test this out, let's actually add some styles within our canvas element over here. So let's do a style and we're going to do a max height property of 500 pixels. And then we'll set some margins around the graph for 50 pixels all the way around. All right, so now I'm just gonna do a Control S to save and we can see it applied over here. All right, nice. Okay, so now the next thing we're gonna do is we're actually going to, you know, as I said, 
start from here. All right, so now we see what it takes to get started. Now let's actually see what it takes to populate in, you know, this dynamic mapping of data sets, right? So first, what we're going to do is we're actually going to include some data that we grabbed from that COVID API. And what I did, you know, to speed things up here a bit is I simply just kind of parse this out into a JSON file. So first I need to include that file and let me show you what that looks like. All right, so if we look at the data here for a second, right? So when we look at this, we can see that we have the states and we can see the days. Now the way that this maps to the states is by column. So obviously California here would be the first column, Massachusetts the second column, and Florida the third. And these are the dates that were observed on, excuse me, these were the cases that were observed on these dates. All right. So now all of the code that we're going to do over here, first thing, let's verify that we can actually grab that JSON file. So I'm going to go right to the top here and we're going to use our good old fetch. So with fetch, we're going to essentially await, right? So we're going to use fetch with the wait. So we're going to wait till we actually get all of that data before we run this under here. And the way that we're going to do that is with this. And what I want to do is I want to verify that we actually get it. So I'm going to do a console.log, all right, and we'll verify that we get key values. And then down the bottom down here, let's actually close this guy out. All right, so now I'm going to minimize this guy so we can actually see it. I'm going to open up a JavaScript console down here. So I'm going to do a control shift J. All right, and if yours is not down the bottom, you can simply just select it right from here. All right, and coming over here now, if I do a control S, we can actually see that we get that data. Okay, great. So first thing we're gonna do is we're going to replace the months down here with those days. So we can see that that's the first line up here. And if we take a look over here, we're essentially slicing off the first, right? So out of the key values, out of all that data that we're seeing over here, we what we want to get for the days is down here. So we want to take out the first array and we want to start with this over here. And all we want to grab is the first element in each array. And we can see that over here. So we're kind of, you know, iterating through and we're just going to grab that first element. And with this map function over here, we're going to throw all of that inside of an array. So I'm just going to copy this first one right here. All right, and let's verify that that's in fact what it does. So if we come up here, I'm going to leave the console log for the moment, just so in case we want to do any more comparisons there. All right, I'll add the semicolon, even though we don't technically need it, I'll throw it in there. All right, and I'm going to do a control S to save. We don't see anything. And the reason for that is because up here, we're defining time labels. We can get rid of this as the old labels. All right, and then we need to define that as our labels down here. So time underscore labels, do a save again, and we can see it replaces down the bottom. All right, nice. So now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to essentially include the states. Now the states, as well as the COVID data and the color is all going to be dynamically mapped. So we can see over here our COVID sets. So this is what we're going to supply down here all right, as our data sets, so it's going to be COVID sets, and we're going to supply our time labels as the labels, okay? So all of this, the way that we dynamically map it, we can see we have our labels, this is states i, so we iterate through, so starting at one, we iterate through the length of the states, okay, and we essentially push all of that to the array that's up above. And obviously when we're doing this, we're gonna say that I, so say for example, one, right, is gonna correspond to California. And then as we go through and we map those elements to each one in each of those elements, right, same thing with the colors, it's all gonna map it together, all right? And that's how we can kind of dynamically map everything all at once. So just to save some time, what I'm gonna do is I'm simply just going to copy all of this part right here. All right, and then we can come over to our, our file here and I can simply just get rid of, I guess, the console log and everything and I'll go right up to here. I'll do a control V and then down here, we need to adjust what we're supplying in. Okay, so we can see over here for data, we're now supplying, um, 
you know data sets as well as labels right time labels and I'm gonna supply this as our data so I'm gonna do a control C here and then I'll put this right here control V all right and I'm gonna save it okay and here we can see that the data essentially got applied dynamically so nice piece of cake right so a couple other things down the bottom down there that I put on there just to kind of make the graph look a little better is I put you know kind of like some titles on each of them and if you go over to the getting started page you can actually see uh, where is it here so configuration right and you could see for example title right and in there you got options plugins and then title so it will make sense when you see over here for options that you're gonna supply the you know plugins and titles so when we come underneath here uh, which is right here and we apply this to the graph so starting at options I'll simply just replace that out you can see the plugins here title and then some of the options underneath so I'm just gonna copy this alright and then I'll come down here Control V, all right, and then Control S. And if I go over to our page over here, we can actually see that that you know those values or that data got applied, 